Hey YouTubers, Blink DIY here again. I just posted a video. My previous video was uh, a Willwood Master Cylinder and Proportioning Valve Kit. I also had mentioned that I bought a residual pressure valve because I have drum brakes in the back of my, my car. Um, you can see the part number there, 260-13784. It is a 10 pound residual pressure valve. Just thought I'd show you how that goes in there. I got the master cylinder still not in the car yet, but I've mocked up and, and got the proportioning valve in place. I'll show you how that looks. That's part of the bench bleeding stuff. I just put that in there to keep everything clean, make sure nothing got in there. But anyways, the proportioning valve is in. I just put a couple of nuts on there to kind of simulate the the depth of the master cylinder and spacers to go in between there so that's pretty much where the master or the proportioning valve is going to sit got all my lines bent up into place what i wanted to show you is a residual pressure valve how to install that and where it goes so pretty tight in here but not sure if you can see can see that FO, FO, and at the back it says RO. That means front out, front out, and rear out. So when you're going to the rear portion of it, that's where that adjuster is. You can adjust how much uh, rear brake pressure you have. And that's where that residual pressure valve goes. It needs to be as close to the master cylinder as possible. So all I did is built a little elbow in there for a brake line and on the math or on the residual pressure valve you can see mc and out so mc obviously goes towards the master cylinder and out goes out to your back brakes i had to put this see if i can even get my hand in here it's set up to go for 3 16 lines and i actually have a quarter inch line going to my back brake so i just got this adapter it actually has a flared fitting that goes into the fitting so it simulates a 3 16 brake line going in there and then the other end of it has has the the flared fitting for a quarter inch flared fitting brake line so don't know what else i can show you here but just so people understand lots of people think that that residual pressure valve needs to go underneath the car on the frame somewhere and that's not the case it needs to go close to the master cylinder as possible it's coming together nicely exciting to have good brakes hit that like and subscribe thanks bye